Hello you fantastic people, Hybrid Panda here and welcome back to Shrine Watch episode 13. The weekly Dead by Daylight show that we put out on a Wednesday where we go and take a look at the brand new Shrine of Secrets offerings, have a look, explain how they work and then take them in and play them in a survivor game and in some killer games. This Shrine of Secrets is active from the 17th of October through to the 23rd of October. And today's Shrine Watch jingle is from Benjamin Smith, thank you very much. Also we've got a lovely little bit of fan out here from Brianon, thank you very much for sending this in. We've got my lovely, lovely, lovely uh, Nia outfit that I use for the Shrine Watch recording. Yesterday we also had the mid-season patch that I talked about in a previous video and there are a lot of changes, here they are. It's a hell of a lot of stuff, if you want to go and read it yourself then I definitely suggest doing that because I am not going to read all of this crap right now. Keep in mind if you want to send me anything, a little bit of a song, a little bit of a bit of art or something, just a little email, hybridpanda.yt at gmail.com. So we only have two days left until Friday, until the Hallowed Blight event is going to be coming, and all of these fantastic new skins are coming. The Hillbilly, the Doctor, the Huntress, the Trapper, uh, the Wraith, Claudette, and Dwight. We're getting skins for all of them, and we're going to have some sort of event. I honestly don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to have something to do with these big flower things. I actually think that one of these flowers is actually a generator, and one of them is going to take place of a hook. I don't know, we're going to have to wait until Friday to see, but I'm really, really looking forward to this. The skins look so damn good. They look so great. Anyway, we can look forward to that for later, and let's jump into the shrine and check out what we have. I'm actually pretty happy this week. The shrine is actually pretty mixed up. We've had one perk before here on Shrine Watch, but everything else is nice and fresh. Okay, so let's start with our survivor perks for the week. First up, it's a detective tap perk, and we have a detective's hunch. Whenever you personally complete a generator around the map, anything within 64 meters of you is going to be revealed to you. This includes chests, generators, and totems. You're going to be able to find those totems that are hidden in really tricky spots. Honestly, not the most powerful perk, but it does give you a nice idea of the map and let you know what's all the way around you. And it could let you find that horrible, horrible hex ruin if you can actually manage to get a generator done. If you also have one of the map items, then everything that you discover using Detective Hunt when you finish the generator will be added to your map so you can then come back and look at it later on and find that totem and go and destroy it. There's definitely way better perks than this. However, if you are using a map, this really does add to it and I think actually makes it a very powerful perk. And our second perk, and the first time it's ever been on the Shrine of Secrets, it's a Kate Denson perk. We have Windows of Opportunity. Auras of pallets and vaults are revealed to you when within a 20 meter range, enabling you just to see everything that you can use around you to escape the killer, to slam on their head, and things that you can vault over. However, if you're in a chase with a killer and you drop a pallet or you use a vault, you will put this ability onto cooldown for 40 seconds, so you're not going to be able to see stuff for that 40 seconds. But this, I find, is a really good perk, especially when you're starting off the game, just because it lets you know what there is around you, like it lets you know there's a pallet over there. So you can go over that way, you can try and loop around there, drop the pallet, lets you know where windows are, I think it's actually really great, especially when you're learning new maps and stuff like that. This could be absolutely fantastic. I personally have never actually really used this perk, but we're going to use it today in our games and see how it works, but I'm actually interested to see how it goes. Okay, and let's get on to our killer perks now. Now, the first perk is a hillbilly perk, and it's actually a perk that I suggest you get two weeks ago when Decisive Strike was up on the shrine. Enduring, very easy, very basic perk, just reduces the duration of all stuns by 75%. So this means that pallets basically just bounce off your head. It means that Decisive Strike is a hell of a lot shorter. And if you're playing a killer that has an issue with pallets, or you want to just be able to face check pallets and just swing straight through them, Enduring is going to be what you want to have. Also, with the amount of decisive strikes that you find out there, especially in Survive with Friends groups, having four people with decisive strikes, having Enduring can be your lifeline between having a good game and absolutely going insane. And our fourth perk, I'm actually quite intimidated by it being on the shrine, just because when it's up on the shrine, more people tend to use it. Now, this perk, I hate. It's a Michael perk, and it is a dying light. So this perk will force an obsession into the game. Even if no one has decisive strike, they will still be an obsession, and you'll be obsessed with one survivor. The obsession's ultra action speeds increased by 50% which is actually quite significant but once you kill the obsession or sacrifice them you can do whatever you want you can mori them if you want to every other of the three survivors gets a penalty of 25% to repairing healing and sabotaging which really really slows them down a lot now the most effective way to use this perk is to bring in a green mori and to literally find the obsession hook them up and then mori them and then for the rest of the game everyone else is going to be so goddamn slow at doing everything it's a really, really, really horrible perk to play against, and uh, I'm not looking forward to this week surviving against it. 
Anyway, there we have the shrine for the week. Let's take them out for some games. My picks for this week, if you're a killer, I would definitely, definitely take Enduring. Just protect yourself. If a group joins and it looks like four Survivor friends just all joined at once, and they're all Claudette, and they're all dressed the same, and they've all got flashlights, take yourself Enduring. You're probably going to get D-striked and just get it over with. You know, just, just smile. Just when the D-strike comes, just put on a big grin and smile. And for Survivor, I would definitely pick Windows of Opportunity, I think. Especially if you're newer to the game. I think you're actually going to get a good bit of usage out of this perk. It's going to let you know exactly where you want to go. It's going to let you escape chases. It's going to let you stun the killer. It's going to do all sorts of good shit. Anyway, let's get cracking into some games here. Okay, so for our killer games, we're going to be playing as the Hag today. We're going to be playing as Lettuce Crown Hag. And, of course, we're going to use our two perks, Enduring and Dying Light. I'm also going to bring in an Ivory Mori to try and kill the Obsession to get Dying Light to activate nice and early to really piss everyone off. Also bringing in Blood Warden, which we've had on the Shrine three times so far while I've been doing Shrine Watch, and we have No One Escapes Death. So this entire build is kind of late game, and uh, it should actually be quite a lot of fun. Okay, so let's get out there and try and slaughter some people and see how we can do. Of course, uh, the ranks did reset on the 13th, so we are down to rank, what are we rank now? Rank 5. So we still got a bit of a way to go up to rank 1, which means that the games are going to be good. Okay, let the murder commence. Let's see if we can make some magic happen here. Little Miss Hag, little... I don't know what we call this Hag. Definitely Lettuce Crown Hag. Uh, let's get some traps down here. Now, I am going to be using um, this Mori. If I can try and find the obsession, get them hooked up, I will use the Mori. And I'm going to have absolutely no remorse for that. I'm not saying... Oh! Saw someone over here. I'm not saying that's something that you should do yourself, but um, Dying Light and Mori combo is a glorious, glorious thing. There was someone back here. I saw them. I saw them. Where have you gone, my little friends? All right, more traps. All right, they're probably out there doing all the gens, so let's keep moving, I guess, for now. As long as they don't have a flashlight, they're not going to be destroying my traps. So that's good. Survivors. Let's put traps near generators, at least, so if they want to go and work on the gens, we're going to be alerted to their presence. Uh, and I'm saying they're going to be all the way at the back of the map here. Don't get a gen gun, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. And here we have a generator being worked on in its natural habitat. Who do we have? We have... We got a Claudette. All right, and she is hyped about smashing pallets. And we have Enduring, so that just bounced off my head in a very, very short amount of time. Let's give this generator a kick. Knock it back a little bit. And... Oh, did she go around here? Claudette, she did not ground here. Okay, right, well, I guess we continue our adventure. I don't know where the hell she went to. She ran away. Oh, there she goes. Oh, man, this annoying ass window is open. And we have... Shit. And we have one generator done. Okay, well, at least we know where. That gen is. We've got someone working on shit over here as well. God damn. All right, this is not a good start for the panda. But we're going to teleport over here. And we're going to miss Claudette because we suck ass. Come here, Claudette. Come here. You're going straight towards the trap. There we go. There's one hit. And come here and feed me your soul. Oh, there we see. I see someone else over here. What are you doing, Bill? And he's not the obsession either. Damn it. I was really, really hoping Bill would be the obsession. And there goes the second generator. All right. We're in trouble here. We're in trouble. Now, they did change this loop a little bit here, which is kind of interesting. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's just get Bill picked up as soon as we can. Come on, Bill. Come here. we got to go places, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you idiot. You idiot. This is perfect. All right. Thank you very much, Claudette. Appreciate that. Let's get you hung up, dude. And come over here. Grab the Claudette. Feng Min. Oh, you're the obsession. Actually, you know what? Change of idea. Let's just go for Feng Min instead. Let's go for her instead. I want to get you knocked down and put up on a hook, my friend. Where have you gone to, Feng? I should probably put down more traps. Yeah, put down a trap here. All right, we've got to get this, Feng. We've got to get her. We've got to get her hooked up and killed. Where is she? Where is she? There she goes. There she goes. All right, the chase is on. The chase is on. Those two are back up over there, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Feng! Damn you, demon! All right, that's not ideal at all. Let's put a trap here. Uh, oof, the chase is on. Oof, the chase is on. Gotcha, motherfucker! Okay, but there is a good chance that we're going to get decisive strikes because she is the obsession. Um, scary times. Everyone's also healed up. See, the annoying thing about Dying Light is that you've got to get them killed fast or else... Don't strike me. Oh, she's wiggling. Cool. The annoying thing about uh, 
dying light is that you've got to get stuff done before they get all the generators knocked out, which is not the easiest thing in the world. Ah, great. Failing skill checks, though. I like that. Hello there, Claudette. All right, fuck it. We've got to actually go for the gens here. we well, got to stop them doing the gens. Get away from here. And do this. And I'm honestly going to teleport over and just go and... Whoa, Bill! What the hell? Just going to go and eviscerate the Feng as soon as she's off the hook. Like this? Oh shit, wrong one. Like this? Slap Claudette and I need to get the Feng Min. So let's put down a new trap here. And oh, I don't know how to really play this, but I do want to go and get that generator. There we go, Feng. I'm so sorry, but this is just how it's going to be going now. You're going to be getting Mori and everyone else is going to get a 25% detriment to everything in the rest of the game. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. But give me those bits of uh, organs inside you and put them in my mouth. All right, two generators left, and we are activating Dying Light. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, cool. That actually makes me a little bit happy. Obviously, Feng Min's not going to be happy about that, but can't win them all, Feng. Can't win them all. All right, so they're going to be 25% slower on everything now. Claudette's up here giving me a big tea bag. What have you got, Bounce Landing? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. Where are you going, Claudette? You going into my trap? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And another one back there. Beautiful. Hello, Claudette. I am now behind you. But you didn't see that one coming. Oh. Beautiful. Very, very nice. I like it. All right, what's the plan now, though, my dear? Put down a quick trap and chase. Claudette. Someone's triggering my traps. Where the hell did Claudette go? Oh, she's disappeared. She's a spicy little sausage. All right, we've got to go over here. We've got to go and tend to whatever's going on here. Who was here? And where did they go? It's Bill. Bill, come here, you old sausage. Come here. Let me give you a nice little tickle. Nice. And he went for it. And you're going down on the ground, Bill. You're going down on the ground! Okay, CJ Brown, welcome to the hook, Phil. Okay, two generators left. We've just got to stop them doing the gens before... I guess it doesn't really matter, because we've got no one escapes death. We do have a powerful little build going on here. Okay, and a new trap here. And we've got to go and find which generator they're doing. This one here is a little bit worked on. Not too worried about that. The one in the house here, the shack, is... Not worked on either. Oh, shit. Oh, they're not really doing too much generator work. From what I can tell. Ah, yes. Hello, Feng. I have seen you. All right, nice. We'll continue this chase. Pallet. All right, let's uh, trap up for that. Hello. It's me. The killer. Oh, my God. That was dumb. Oh, my God. That was so dumb. I didn't mean to teleport there. Hello, Feng. Down you go. All right. Thank God that worked because that was actually really goddamn stupid. I should not have teleported. All right. Come here, dear. Let's get you on this hook here. Mmm. What a nice day for a hook, eh, Feng? All right. Up you go. That's your first hook. Perfect. That's fine. Don't mind about that at all. I actually feel like I'm in a pretty good spot here where I've actually got some control over the game, over the map, and over the survivors and the generators. Uh, I need to go and just give a little bit of a check to these gens over here. I've seen Bill as well. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Bill. How do you do, sir? Oh. Oh. What the hell's going on? Man, I keep on teleporting to old traps instead of new traps. Claudette, come to me, my friend. Come to me. Jump into my mouth. All right, that's not annoying. That's not annoying at all. Down you go. Trap triggered. Can I teleport to it? I can indeed. Oh, shit. All right, well, Bill, you're going on the ground, I'm afraid. And you are going up on the hook. I think he's dead on the hook, too. I think maybe I'm a son of a bitch, but you should not sprint up to a hook when it's against the hag. He's dead. He's dead, and he's out of here. All right, well, we're in a pretty good, goddamn good spot here. Dying Light has essentially halted all of their progression on the generators and stuff. And uh, now we are in control. We have the power. We are the hag. Um... Nice. All right. Well, let's put a smile on my face. 
Let's go kick this. Put down a trap. I'm so lucky they didn't find a flashlight because that would have really screwed me up. And that generator is also off. Hey, we have... We've done it. We've done pretty goddamn good here. All right, so if we could find Foxy now, that'd be nice. Or we could find Claudette. Find anyone, really. Oh, there we go. Hi, Claudette. How are you doing? You doing good? Oh, ho, ho, ho. man, that was close. Man, that was close. Do I have traps? Do I have traps? I have a trap inside the house. All right. Hopefully this will help me get a kill on Claudette here. There we go. Hello, friend. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Man, I'm so happy about how this has gone. Really, Dying Light, I think it's it's also a 25% reduction, but it also has a psychological effect on the survivors. They start working on a generator, and it looks like it's going to take so long that they just give up. And they're like, hey, you know, maybe not work on that. Maybe let's go do something else instead. And that just draws the game out, lets you get more kills, more hooks, and be a happy dude. Oh, my goodness. They really... Oh, she got herself... She got saved! Oh, she got saved, but they didn't trigger the traps. All right, they're learning. Holy shit, the survivors are learning, everyone. Look out. Look out, look out. All right, we need to put some traps over here. One we'll do right now, and one here. We're going to kick the generator, start regressing it, and the hunt continues. Now, we're really just playing the waiting game here, waiting for someone to tread in a trap, waiting for someone to... Go near a generator. There we go. What was that? Was that a failed skill check? Oh, no. That's not what you want to do. Where was it? Sniff it out. Sniff it out. <gasps> there she is. There she is. Hello, Claudette. Oh, I feel so bad about this, but not really at the same time. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She ran this way? No, she ran this way. Is she in the locker? Claudette! Oh, she's a spicy one. Not that spicy, though. Not that spicy. Come here, dear. Come here. I'm afraid it's time to go onto the hook. Bam. Okay. Right. So, it's not her last hook. I need to try and find the Fengmin. I want to get a full kill here, as always. Fengmin's either failing skill checks or she's, she's busting traps. She is just sprinting around, busting all my traps. How... Fucking dare you! How dare you! And sadly, we're too far away. Oh, and here's the hatch. Oh god, let's put an actual trap on the hatch. That could be good. That could work out nicely. Let's put a trap here. And really, we just want to find the thing, get her attacked, and chase her down. Chase her through all the rest of my traps here. I feel like she could have gone into this locker. Damn it! I feel like she could have gone into this locker. Okay, well, she didn't do either of these things. Maybe these lockers. Nope. Maybe this locker. Okay, I've checked all the lockers. All right, this was a waste of time. This was a big waste of time. Okay, Claudette's been saved. We basically just need to clean this game up now and just finish them off. Now, keep in mind as well, because it's early game, or it's not the end game yet, we have not used any of our two perks. We haven't used Blood Warden, and we haven't used No One Escapes Death. We've only used Enduring and Dying Light so far, and we've had a pretty good result. But I'm actually getting seriously bored here of searching for survivors. I would like them to just... <laughs> Perfect. Hello, Claudette. What do you think you're doing? Are you saboing hooks? I don't like it when people sabo hooks. Oh, she's actually got some moves on her. All right, well, let's see what you think of that. What do you think of that? Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. But this is unfortunate because I think Feng's going to be getting the hatch. However, we did put a trap on the hatch, so maybe... We could get over there like that. I'm going to actually hold out for that. That's going to be my tactic here. I'm going to wait, try and teleport, and then grab. Wait, where was the hatch? It's that. It's over there. It's that one there. Okay, cool. It's that one there. Is she going to take it? Is she going to take it? Oh, man, she was waiting on top of it. God damn it. All right. All right, well, you know what? We got three. We didn't get four. Let's give them a GG and a smiley face. GG, not really. Oh, I'm sorry that you feel like that. If you're enjoying this episode of Shrine Watch, please do leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Shrine Watch every single week and multiple Dead by Daylight videos up on the YouTube channel. Also, live streams four days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday at 6pm UK time over on Twitch.
So let's jump onto our lovely Feng Min and get our survivor game done. We're of course going to use Detective's Hunch and Windows Opportunity. And I'm also going to use Lithe, which is a Feng perk that will work with Windows because when you vault over a window while in a chase, you get a speed boost and lightweight for some less footprints behind us. We're also going to use a map to combo it with Detective's Hunch. And because they have recently changed in this patch, the swamp maps, they've made them a lot better, a lot smaller and all this stuff. We're going to go and try out a swamp. Hey, we have the swamp. All right, check it out. The swamp is actually looking pretty cool now. And I think this is the first time that I've ever actually used Windows of Opportunity. I'm really interested to see, look at that, look at that window. Holy shit. It's massive. Oh, hello there. Hello there. All right, let's go. Let's go. We need to do some generators. Where the hell are we? Oh shit. It feels like a whole new map. Oh, hey, Bill. Oh God, we got the entire team here. Right, well, this is different. I'm liking this. Let's go do the generator, friends. Hell yeah. So every... Oh dear. Oh dear. So we can see the pallet got dra dropped there. That's cool as hell. He's kicked the pallet and he's off on a chase. Hey, no hex ruin. That's kind of nice. Thanks very much. Appreciate that. So I can see my routes of escape here. We've got one there. We've got a pallet over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, that person's struggling. What the hell's wrong with you? They let themselves die? Oh my god, that is just not... Another person disconnected as well? What the fuck is this? Oh god. Bam! So there you can see, we can basically see pretty much everything on the entire map. Uh, I'm just gonna run in here and save this guy. If I die, that's fine. That's fine. I can handle it. And we're gonna lithe! And we're gonna save Bill! Get down from there, dude! Get down from there, Bill! I love you! Okay. Alright, game over. Game over, man. Game over. Hooray! We have the new swamp again! Grim Pantry. Okay, let's go and kick some ass, Feng. So what have they done? They've closed in a lot of the corners on this map. And I'm just going to go to the generator up here. And we've got four people. So they've closed some of the corners. They've made it a little bit tighter, a little bit more compact. It's a pig! It's a pig. Did she see me? I don't think she did. Alright. Lovely. Lovely, yeah, you go off that way. I'm gonna go do the generator. Oh, there's a hex totem downstairs. Ooh. Interesting, she didn't come straight this way. I'm gonna just crank this out, just get this knocked out. ASAP. And then screw you, little Miss Piggy. Hopefully it's not haunted ground. Hopefully it's uh, hex ruin. Oh, thrill of the hunt. Well, it's gonna be hard for the killer to get to me all the way down here. So, I reckon we'll just crack on with it. Little Miss Piggy. Peppa Pig, are you mad that I've got your totem? Hopefully it was something good. Hopefully it was worth. Nice. Hello there. Hello. All right, I don't want to be anywhere near here. Let's get the fuck out of here. And we've done one generator already. Nice. Well, I've got absolutely no idea what that totem was, but it was either Thrill of the Hunt or Hex Ruin or something like that. There she is over there. She's miles away. She's miles away. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Look at all the windows and stuff around here. Insanity. All right, let's get cranking on with some... Hey, nice. No hex ruin. I've got to assume that I got the ruin there. Beautiful. Good job, Feng. You're a champion. Honestly, because they got that generator done so fast, I've... and that generator done so fast, I've got to assume that... Is she being chased? So I'm being chased? Or am I being chased? I think I might be being chased here. Oh no, someone else being attacked. Yeah, we've got to assume that they didn't have Hex Ruin. Oh no, my friend. Well, I'm going to continue with this generator. We're going to find out exactly where everyone is. Oh, where all the shit is because of Texas Hunch. And I'm going to go get some totems. I'm going to go see what this totem is over here. Crank this out and just stop the possibility. Is he's got Detective Hunch too? Yo, dude. Detective Bros? We are Detective Bros. Nice. Okay, right, so, uh, that's two totems knocked out. I would like to find the rest of them just to make it so that no one escapes death is not going to be a thing. She's up on the house there. We've only got two generators left, and she's only hooked the first person, so the pig's not having a very good time. I think she's having a bit of a shitty time, actually. Uh, let's nip down here, try and save El Nino Jason, and be a hero. Oh, shit. She's really close by. Hmm. Alright, well, I've got to get down here and save this guy. So, let's just YOLO 
dive in for it and see what happens. One generator left. Holy guacamole. God damn, dudes. We are killing it. All right, get down from there, Dwight. And your head's ticking. Do you want to heal? You want to heal? All right, deal. Deal, deal, deal. And the killer is absolutely miles away. All right, Dwight, you're going to want to go and get this crap off your head, though. ASAP. Or else you're going to be going pop. Oh, someone else is being attacked. Okay, right. Well, let's be a savior. And try and save all the people in the land. Let's go and try and save uh, Dala. Dala, I'm coming for you. Oh, she's been picked up. Shit. Shit. Oh, hello, dear. Hello. Yes, let's heal you up. Uh, hopefully, my little Dwight friend is actually going to be able to find the boxes to get his head on track. Because otherwise... He is going to go pop. He's already a quarter of the way through his timer. And you're welcome, Nia. You're welcome. Okay, nice. All right, let's go. Sneak over here. Where is the last generator? There's one generator up there. Uh, is there one up there? No, that one's already done. There's one right here and there's one right there. Wow. They are all really fucking close to each other. Hello? Hello, pig? 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 What are you doing, pig? And lithe. And let's just run her away. Okay, so because we used our windows opportunity, we consumed that. And it's going to be off cooldown for another 40 seconds. Let's try and just run away. I'm using lightweight, so my footsteps are not going to be that visible. And it looks like I have lost the killer. And they're back on that person. Hey, and Dwight managed to get the thing off his head. Good job, Dwight. All right, let's crack on with this generator here. And... Uh, just try and get the last gen done. Hopefully we'll have a friend come and join us. These three gens, though, are terribly placed. We've got them all in a line. One, two, and three. So, yeah. The killer's going to easily be able to patrol between these, so we just need to get these worked on while someone's being chased. Dala, no! Ah! Wait. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Hello there! Dala's on our second hook. Come on, Nia. We've got to get this shit cracked out. We have got to get this generator done so we can get the hell out of here. I've healed you, Nia. I've healed you. All right, Nia's going for the saves. Let's just do, let's just crack on here. Let's just literally tunnel vision this generator. I feel like Dwight's going to get killed. Or is that, oh no, it's Detective Tap. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Shit, run, my friend. Hopefully he's got adrenaline and this somehow saves the day here. He is being chased. Nia! Damn it! Damn it, Nia, you goddamn demon! Shit. Shit. Kick the generator and... Damn! Ooh -hoo -hoo. That was close. That was lucky and that was close. Alright, I think she's probably got no one escapes death. Uh, my poor friend Dala is ticking their head clock is uh, about to well it's running out and they're being chased all right poor Dala that person is dead that person is dead on the hook uh, let's go and try and get this generator done I guess poor Dala poor Dala not generator get the exit gate opened it's gonna take 16 seconds it's not gonna be long enough I'm probably gonna get chased off here but hopefully she goes to the other gate first don't come this way little miss piggy don't go this way come on thing I feel like she's just going to pounce out of the shadows here. Oh, they're escaping the other gate. I think that means that the killer's probably there. And we are out of here. Home free. Good job, Feng. Good job. All right, so I attempted to use my perks there. Didn't really use them that much. Uh. Ah, well. Ah, well. That's just Shrine Watch. Out we go, Feng. Out we go. Okay, let's give him a GG and uh, see what perks the pig was using here. So we had, ah, uh, Thrill of the Hunt. It was just Thrill of the Hunt. Interesting. Surveillance. Surveillance? Ew. Well, there you have it, everyone. Our killer perks and our survivor perks demonstrated for all of you. If you like the Shrine Watch format, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section which perk you're going to be getting this week. Remember, Shrine Watch comes out every single Wednesday. Make sure to check back for it next week. If you want to see more Dead by Dalek content from me, where well, you could catch me live on Twitch, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, 6 p.m. UK time. And also we have multiple videos up on the channel here every single week. Check the playlist in the outro and in the description to see more. Have a lovely day, everyone. Good luck and have fun out there. Panda out.